What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Shoots with Coops and today I want to talk about how to get paid to shoot film. Let's jump into it. So guys, you know, if you're like me out there, you're, you know, and you're a working photographer, um, you know, you, you probably do have a digital camera and you probably use your digital camera, you know, the majority of the time. You might not even, you know, ever get a chance to pull out your film camera and use that on a shoot. Um, which is why I wanted to make this video. Recently, I've been getting more and more paid jobs to shoot film. Um, and if you're a film shooter out there, you know how, you know, absolutely amazing this is. Like, yeah, film is a passion for me, like it is for you guys. And actually getting money to shoot film, um, you know, in some amazing situations, it's just, it's amazing. It's like a dream come true, to be perfectly honest. So today, I want to share with you guys a few tips on how you can break into the market um, if you're already a working photographer um, and start bringing out your film camera on those shoots and get some awesome shots. So first of all, guys, I think, you know, there's always, always still been people out there who shoot film and get paid to shoot film, but it's a very, very niche market. Um, but I think now, with the whole hipster, trendy, you know, point and shoot crew we got going on out there, you know, film, the film resurgence, and it's, you know, a lot more, got a lot more traction these days. Um, things like, you know, we have what, the Today Show, or Jim Fallon, or one of those shows a while back, and one of those dumb bitch Kardashians was on there. And she's out there repping her new Contacts T2. Um, and, oh my God, the film camera, it's amazing, rah, rah. And things like that, do piss me off because it's like, okay, one, you're just driving the prices up on stuff. You probably don't even know what you're talking about. Um, but the other side of that is where, you know, you've got to embrace it is a popular celebrity like her bringing something like, you know, film and, and film cameras back into the public eye, you know, for people who probably had no idea about it. Um, you know, they've probably never even seen a film camera, most of the young people these days. Everyone shoots everything with their iPhone. So to bring that back into the public spotlight, gives us more exposure for the film community, which is the good side of that. So, you know, recently the jobs I've been having are more, you know, uh, kind of lifestyle, uh, portrait shoot and fashion stuff where I've been shooting film because this whole retro vibe, which is, you know, which is cool now and it's all coming back, you know, people love it and people want it. So, you know, being an experienced film shooter, you can kind of, you know, make the most of this opportunity while you can. So my first tip I would have to say if you're a working photographer is start with black and white. Uh, the first few times that I got actually paid, you know, I was using my film camera and shooting my Leica and getting paid, I pitched it to the client with, hey, you know, I'll shoot all this. By the way, you know, I still shoot a lot of film photography. I develop it on myself, you know, and so on and so on. I said, would you like me to shoot some black and white? And the way I always pitch and why, and why I pitch black and white first is because as we all know, as, as good as digital is and you can you know reproduce it, you just cannot really get that true black and white look with a digital file. It just doesn't compare to black and white film. You know, we all know this. And and that's how I pitch it. I say, hey, you know, shoot some black and white film. You know, it, it really is, you know, it's amazing stuff. Like digital just cannot produce, you know, the tones and the textures you get from real black and white film. I think, you know, that would really do these portraits justice or the scene justice and, and so on. And then you know, the more enthusiastic you are about it, people kind of go, oh yeah, you know, oh really? I didn't even know people still did that, things like that. And that's how I sort of started to push film into my digital work. You know, start with digital, hey, by the way, I'm shooting some black and white, and so on and so on. And there's a lot of great shots I've taken, you know, with film alongside digital and, you know, and every time without fail, whenever I hand the black and white files to the client, they all go, wow, Oh my God, that's so cool. Like, because the majority of, of the younger generation these days, they've probably never even really seen it. Or, or if they know about it, they know, you know, almost nothing about it. Um, and it's definitely a really cool way, you know, because from one job to the next job and introduce it a bit more and so on. And then, you know, someone sees the work and, oh, what was that shot with? That was shot with film. You know, little things like that can just help you slowly, slowly creep in to, you know, getting more chances to shoot film professionally. Second tip is, your fashion bloggers and all your hipsters out there, you know, this social media is so powerful. You know, the job I did last week, uh, a girl I know, she paid me 
to do a job for one of her clients when we were doing a fashion shoot for um, a local hair company. Um, you know, and she just, oh, I would love to have some film on there. And I shot Portra on that. Um, and then, because we went into a night shoot, I shot some Cinesteel 800 um, with a flash on this uh, Contax TVS and it gave this real gritty, um, grimy look, which I absolutely love. And even, you know, when she saw the photo, she thought, oh my God, that's just it's so different. But that's the best part of it. It's so different. Um, and because, like I said earlier, you got your, you know, Kardashian or whatever, you know, bringing more of you know more attention to the film you know in the public eye like that it makes all these other fashion bloggers and you know instagram people and it's they go oh yeah that's really cool it's in now it's hip and because you know how to shoot film it's a great chance to try and capitalize on that and one last tip guys i would say is uh you know for your if you're into your portraits uh weddings um, you know, intimate shoots. Film can be an absolute fantastic way to make you stand out and get more work. I mean, uh, this afternoon I've actually got, uh, I've got a wedding next year, but the engagement party is this afternoon. I'll shoot with my X-Pro2, but I will also be shooting some Tri-X um, with my Leica M7, um, just because um, it gives just something different, something extra, you know what I mean? Because a lot of wedding photographers and portrait stuff, you know, very similar, very, not generic, but you know, everything's similar in a lot of ways. I mean, the camera sensors these days, there's not too much difference between them all. You know, the photos all come out looking amazing, but when you introduce something different, it can make you stand out from the crowd, you know, and then people, you know, people show their, their friends and family these photos and then they come across the film once and they're like, oh wow, like that's very different, that's really cool. And it's, you know, something that can make you stand out from the crowd. And, you know, if you're standing out, you know, you're probably going to get more work because, you know, you're just not the same as everyone else doing little things different like that. Um, and then obviously that's going to lead to more work, more chances to shoot film professionally for your clients. All right, guys, that does it from me. I hope you enjoyed um, some of the photos I posted and a bit of info on this. I mean, if you're a working film photographer out there, hey, chuck me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. You know, how do you guys get your work? Um, you know, how, how did you start shooting film professionally? I'd, I'd love to know, because, you know, I want to get more chatter going in, in this little you know, community we got going here, guys. Um, but hey, thanks again for watching another episode of Shoots with Coops. Like and subscribe, guys. And oh, the next video stay tuned for has something very, very special coming up. I got myself the king of all point and shoots, as far as I can tell, I got me a Fujifilm Class S. This thing is an absolute beast. I've got another video coming on this, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. Until next time, happy shooting, guys. I'll see you later.